First up at five o'clock, city leaders are still trying to figure out what is causing mysterious shaking in a North Phoenix neighborhood. We first broke this story on Monday. And right now, uh, right after that, our email inbox got flooded with viewers in the very same area near 35th Avenue and Pinnacle Peak saying they've been feeling the same rumbling. Kim Powell's back out there live tonight in the neighborhood. What's the latest out there, Kim? Yeah, actually, Nicole, we're right in the middle of one of those shakes right now. It is currently happening. If my photographer can look up just at this window right here, you can kind of see in the reflection there it bouncing around a little bit. It almost has this uh, it kind of makes you feel a little bit dizzy and you can hear a light jackhammer sound. You can also see it along this window right here, especially if you focus on some of the trees. I'm not sure if you can hear that uh, jackhammer sound, but much like what the neighbors have been telling us, like a weird uh, feeling in your ears. But the city of Phoenix tells us today that uh, they're not for sure that it is coming from the landfill that's across the street, but they are eager to get some answers. You can hear it and you can feel it and you can actually see it. You can see the windows vibrating. Peggy Hunkley is one of dozens of neighbors near Pinnacle Peak Road and 35th Avenue who says the shaking she's felt since 2005 is getting more constant and lasting longer. In the last couple of weeks, it's been to the point you almost can't sleep in the house. Her house is empty because she's in the process of getting new tile after a large crack revealed itself in the tile back in June. When I moved the trash can that's usually here, I could see that the crack was traveling across the house and then it inserts itself into the grout line that goes across the entryway. So what's causing all these tremors? We're trying to understand what's going on here uh, ourselves and, and just because we're not seeing anything unusual out of our, our, our side of things doesn't mean that something's not happening. Rick Peters is the deputy director for the City of Phoenix Public Works Department. He said he received four emails on Monday after a weekend of shaking in the area. And since then, his civil engineers have been at the Skunk Creek landfill across the street trying to get to the bottom of it. At least our initial uh, checks indicated that the, uh, everything at the landfill seemed to be working as it should. And, um, you know, so... That was our first immediate concern. Now we just really want to try to see what's going on. Now they're bringing on a third party engineer to do a study using seismic equipment to see where the vibrations are coming from. The city says they want answers just as much as the homeowners. You know, it's disconcerting when the ground underneath you starts moving. And back out here live, the shaking is still going on. This has been going on for about two or three minutes or so. You can see that window rattling around. Now, Southwest Gas told me that they did have patrols out in this neighborhood this morning, but they did not detect any leaks uh, in their system out here. And as far as the third party engineer, they are going to uh, hopefully have results from that within the next week. For now, reporting live in North Phoenix, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family. Yeah,